Hi guys, uh, starting of the proxy server for Jupyter recording script uh, for uh, uh, test first is from and given is the doc file for uh, stepwise creation of a proxy server. Here is the port number. How you can um, uh, see the port number of uh, Jmeter where to enter this port number and then uh, start the uh, proxy server how to start the proxy server um, uh, recording yeah, you can see then on uh, Firefox where you can enter um, uh, proxy server port manual proxy configuration then that is done now we will see in practical what exactly start to software then my gmeter bat file then comes see your test plan and workbench first i'll go to test plan, test plan. here you need to add test group thread group sorry then it is like recording script that is recording controller recording controller workbench add the http Test script recorder. Now, here in a test script recorder, you can see URL pattern and include URL pattern that is included. Then go to templates that video edit button and see the port number that is 4 times 8. You can enter the 4 times 8 into HTTP test recorder script recorder. Now you can go to Firefox where you can select the proxy server and enter the port number. That script manual proxy configuration it is already entered because I am using it currently for my load testing and functional testing. Now I'll hit the URL which on which I have to do load testing so that I can record the URLs. I don't get means there is a error proxy server is refusing connection. Yeah, I haven't started yet. Started click HTTP test recorder. Now I can view the home page by hitting it again. is working here you can see the recorded URL or captured URL enter the pass your ID user ID and password it will automatically record it You can hit the logout button out here. Okay, it is logged out. I should be test script recorder. You see to it what exactly changes I'll make. I need to click on stop button to stop the recording from STD test script recorder. You can see unwanted URL that has been captured here. Either you can exclude it by URL pattern to exclude in HTTP script recorder. 
See, I don't need JPG file, PNG file, JP, uh, JS file, CSS file, HTTP script recorder. In URL pattern to extrude, you can add in dot back star backward slash dot JPG. And again, I don't need a PNG file for that. I'll add dot star backward slash dot png then it is like I don't need js file so I'll add it this you can again uh, delete all the captured URLs and uh, restart your uh, recording this file won't um, be captured into your uh, recording controller now I don't need it um, it's like um, unwanted URLs while um, running my test script so you can manually delete it as present at present I won't uh, run it again I'll uh, delete it directly manually delete it from because there are, uh, the number of URLs are not that much so I'll delete it manually from uh, recording controller by selecting it delete eliminate so again I need to see this is the URL and your user ID and password. PHP file list of files I don't need while running. Again this file I don't need. I, this, it's a simple uh, test script that is login logout. So for that I don't need this unwanted URLs. It is time consuming while uh, you will run your test script so I'm deleting it you can keep it while uh, the test scripts are been for larger purpose like photo this is test group where you can use your user number loop and timing Now you can add the listener, view result tree, it will record your URL result, well, whether the URL has been having error or not. To run the test script, you need to save it first. proxy server I'll save it as a proxy server out here so I'll start it it won't show any error out here as present for that I'll show you exactly what is the procedure and how you can see this is response data you can see beside this is response data where you can see login and is successful I'll go to sign in. This is a header manager where now you can add response as, as you can go to assertions second last above list now where you can response assertion add response assertion. Now you can add success out here so that it will see to it that whatever response you are getting it is getting matched to this response data to this response assertion so once it is matched it will it won't show any error if it is not getting matched it will show a error a red marked error and 
new result tree report or it will show error and view result table if the id and password are not correct again i will run now it won't show any error because the user id and password are whatever entered at this right if i change it on um, http header manager or um, sorry your script like uh, http request you have uh, changed the user id again i'll run and you can see the error because it is wrong email or password and then exactly I'll uh, open the you can see the test the, the person didn't uh, this response assertion didn't uh, find any success word in response see you to you can see the error mark error status error okay next would be thank you guys um, next would be my uh, thread group in uh, which i can see the um, loop load and users multiple users single user with um, uh, load and then csvy upload for multiple users if you have thousands of users you can upload it directly from csv file and a bad boy that is tool mm, no. complementary to the proxy server that if you don't need a uh, proxy server you can generate your script from bad boy only some changes you need to do that i'll uh, show to you after that 